Okay, so now it's time to continue the coloring process of our dragon's eye drawing. To color your dragon's eye, you will have the option of using oil pastels, colored pencils, or even crayons. Now, the colors that you will be using for today are the black, the white, the orange, the yellow, and two shades of your favorite color. I'm using the dark green and the light green, and you will do the same. You're gonna pick one color and choose a light tone and a dark tone of that color that you chose. We are going to start off by grabbing the yellow color to color the iris. Now, it's very important to go around your highlights and do not color inside of your highlights. Now it's time to start incorporating the orange tone to our iris. And we are going to do so by simply outlining our iris using the orange tone. And little by little, we will blend both colors together. Once we are done blending in the orange, now we are going to continue with the yellow and we are going to blend our yellow color over the orange. Now, if you are using oil pastels, it is very easy to blend both colors by using your finger. Once you are done blending both colors, now it's time to incorporate the black. And we are going to use the black for the rest of our eye. So let's start off by simply outlining Once we are done outlining, then we will continue by coloring in the inner part of the eye with the color black. So now we are going to continue by outlining part of the scales on the upper and lower eyelid. Now it's time to incorporate the colors that you have chosen your scales to be. You are going to start off first by using the lighter tone. And you are simply going to color in the center of the scale. Once you are done coloring in the center of your scale, now it's time to incorporate your darker tone. I am using the dark green. So you are going to use your darker tone around and simply outline the outer part of your scale. When you are done outlining, you are going to little by little start blending both colors together. You will be alternating using both the light and the dark tones to blend both colors together. Once finished with your blending, then you will outline your scale using the black color. And finally, you will incorporate a highlight right at the center of your scale with the white color. If you are using oil pastels, it's very easy for them to get dirty and you can simply clean them using a paper towel. Now you will follow the same process on the upper eyelid. Let's look back at our eye. Now we are going to continue by coloring in our highlight using a white crayon or a white oil pastel.
now we are only missing the center so we are going to outline using the black and we are going to go around our highlight and simply color in the in inner part of the eye Let's grab our dark green and a light green. Let's start off with our dark green and we are going to outline each one of the scales that we created with the dark tone. Now let's grab our light color and we are going to be coloring in just half of our circles with our light tone. For this part of my scale, I'm going to be incorporating the yellow with my light green and I will blend both colors together. Now that I blended both colors together, now I will start outlining my scales using the black once more. I am going to continue the same process over with my larger scales. I will begin by using the light green and this time I'm only going to be incorporating the light and the dark green. Once you have incorporated both your light and dark tone, then you will continue by adding a highlight right at the center. You will continue the same process with the rest of your scales. Once you are finished blending and coloring in your scales, then you can continue by outlining your scales with your color black. course don't forget to incorporate your highlight to each one of your scales right at the center now that we have finished the lower parts of our eye we will continue the same exact design at the top of our eyelid
The most important part of this process is to remember to blend well both colors as well as to add your highlights and outline your scales using the black. And there you have it, your own dragon eye drawing. Great job, artist.